Welcome to my series for steel framed building. We will take it step by step and identify many of the common issues as we go along. If you enjoy my videos, please remember to subscribe and like as it helps to grow the channel. To start, I have already set my levels over here in the east elevation and I've introduced some grid lines. Now I do this in our floor plan and let's just add a few more now to show go the other way. So on the architecture tab grid and just click on the screen over there and drop down. So there's our one grid line. Now we can of course just go across. I'm doing all my grid lines at six meter centers. You may wish to do them at different sizes. That's fine. Whatever you've got so fancy. Okay, now rather than trying to copy them and place them precisely each time, I'm just going to use the copy command by here. So I can just click on that one and then click across on each one like so. And this will give me my grids nice and evenly. Okay, so we can now see I have my grids set up at six meter squares. Next thing we want to do is to place our beams. So we can click on, or the columns rather, click on the column command. And there's one column preloaded. Um, I'm going to then load family. And we need to identify where the files are all kept. So in your folder, mine's in the UK, scroll down to structural columns and go into there. They're steel columns in this instance. And I'm going to use the British standard columns. And we can see here, you see the universal columns and say open. And now you can pick the sizes that you wish and just click OK and load them in. Now, I've already loaded a few in, as we can see, um, of the 305 by 305 sections. So that's fine. I'm just going to keep that and use those. All right, so now let's zoom in a little bit. Before I click to place it, I'm just going to check the height of it. So as I can see, I've got it set to the roof height. All right, that's fine. I'm happy with that. So I'm going to click on the intersection by there. Then I'm going to go to the opposite side of the building and just drop another one in by there and just those two for now. Jump across to my 3D view, press escape so I don't place another one. Click on here and I'm going to multi-select and get them both done at once. And we can see the base level is ground floor. I'm just changing that to foundation because it will be going down to the foundation. Next, we want to add the beams to make the top of this portal. So I'm going to go back to, um, I'll go to my roof plan. There we go. Oh, can't actually see the columns on that. So perhaps, oh, well, that'll be fine though, because we got the grid lines. Now, let's go to beam. And again, we can load family. This time we have to go out of the folder we were in. And we want to go to structural framing and then steel, and then pick the ones you want. So universal beams and pick the sizes you want. OK, I'm going to be using the 305 by 165 by there. I want to click here and point it down. And I want to go halfway down. So that's going to be 9000. Enter. OK, yeah, we know it's not visible by here, but that's fine. Let's have a little look in our 3D view, we can see it by there. Let's then have a look in an elevation. We can't see it um, there. So perhaps what we'll do is swap to the west. That's a little bit closer. There we go. All right. So we can see this by here. Now, just to make you aware, changing the detail level makes quite a big difference with the steelwork. See there? on course, you can barely see it's just a line. But then if we change it to fine, we can actually see the steel much better. 
but at the moment this is just a straight beam across which isn't great so what I'm going to do is the end level offset we can just click on that and actually type in the height of that end of the beam so I'm going to make it 1500 there we go and then I'm going to mirror that beam off the bottom corner make sure I get my line straight there we go so now we can see we have that like that okay I'm just going to stop this video by there so we have created our first portal um, in its basic shape